Cheers! We want our people across Greater Lincolnshire to have something to look forward to. We'll have music events, we'll have um, a Greater Lincolnshire um, food and drink and beer festival and the summer festivals will end with uh, the uh, weekend at the asylum which everyone's been looking forward to when steampunk comes back to Lincolnshire. It's a celebration of all that's great about Greater Lincolnshire, our foods, our music, our drinks, this great open space. One of the things that was really important to people in the Greater Lincoln area during lockdown was the ability to come and have some socially distanced exercise in the grounds of Lincoln Castle so it was um, the, the obvious choice, the obvious location for uh, next year's celebration. But through all the other events the theme of high quality Lincolnshire food and drink will be at the heart of those events so for instance the Wimbledon weekend you'll see great British strawberries grown in Lincolnshire and all the drinks that go with it so what we're doing is we're theming the castle next year around Lincolnshire's food and drink producers um, it's a celebration of everything we do in Greater Lincolnshire a lot of small businesses have suffered because of Covid um, and this event is about them. It's about our small producers. It's about giving them a marketplace. It's about giving them a platform to sell their wares, but also to tell the people of Lincolnshire and the visitors to this great city about how great they are and how great the food that we produce in this county is. So it's about helping them get re-established and moving forward in a positive way against this backdrop of a, a festive occasion. And for me, it's going to be the greatest series of events under one banner, a festival of events. It's going to bring in tens of thousands of people into Lincoln. Um, we're going to see, I would hope, people staying for whole weekends and enjoying it. Uh, I think the economy obviously benefits from people spending money in the local place. But I think also it benefits the local businesses who take part, of course. But I think, you know, because we're announcing it early, we hope that there'll be spring off events happening all over the county uh, around this. We are aiming to make this the first set of events that are zero carbon. As you will be aware, we are moving to Lincoln Castle being a zero carbon venue. Uh, so we're going to really put our foot on the, uh, on the uh, lack of gas next year and uh, make sure that we can make these as zero carbon as possible. Well, that's achieved, Daniel, by making sure that we source local, use local, dispose local, and we don't create waste unnecessarily, and that our carbon footprint is reduced before we even let uh, the first stall holder or the first person through the door. Well, obviously today, October the 1st, is Lincolnshire Day, and we've made a great effort to celebrate it uh, and uh, uh, and enjoy uh, uh, celebrating our great and historic county. We want to really promote Lincolnshire and make a big celebration of Lincolnshire Day because we're very proud of our county uh, and we want to make sure that we encourage businesses and people to come and work here and basically enjoy our wonderful county even more. We're here obviously at the castle and it's a magnificent, uh, not only a magnificent tourist attraction but also it's a magnificent uh, venue because you've got uh, basically a walled amphitheatre. So there'll be a lot going on at uh, Lincoln Castle next year, lots of things for people to do, lots of attractions and lots of opportunity for local businesses to uh, to sell and uh, show off their wares. To be honest, Lincoln has done very well. I mean, obviously, those we come to Lincoln, we've seen how uh, vibrant it's been over the summer months since uh, things were relaxed. And I think compared to a lot of other places, it's doing very well. So we just need to build on that to make sure we have a good venue next year. And it will be all about Lincolnshire 